oldest English newspaper in Cambodia, Phnom Penh Post, to stop printing. The Phnom Penh Post newspaper has announced that it will cease printing both its Khmer and English editions by March 29, 20. This development marks a significant moment in March, as the oldest English newspaper in Cambodia, at 32 years old, has decided to halt its print operations due to a series of economic challenges. The company has cited a notable decrease in advertising revenues as a primary reason for this decision. The Phnom Penh Post, a daily English language newspaper published in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, was founded in 1990 to by publisher Michael Hayes. It is also available in Khmer and previously featured a weekend magazine, Seven Days, in its Friday edition. Initially launched as a fortnightly publication in July 1992, the newspaper transitioned to a daily format on August 8, 2008. Following investments from Australian stakeholders, the paper has been known for its diverse sections covering business, lifestyle, sports, and national news. In May 2018, the newspaper was acquired by Malaysian businessman Sivakumar Ganapthi. The official announcement from the Phnom Penh Post on March 1, 2024, conveyed the decision made by its shareholders with deep regret to discontinue both the English and Khmer editions by March 29, 2024. In this statement, the Phnom Penh Post expressed gratitude to its customers, readers, and business partners, acknowledging the challenging circumstances faced since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent economic downturn. The company highlighted that declining advertising revenues, coupled with the rise of technology and news dissemination through social media, have led to significant financial strains. Despite efforts to secure additional funding and explore avenues for revenue generation, the company found it unsustainable to continue bearing such losses as a result. The shareholders made the difficult decision to cease publication of the newspaper. The Phnom Penh Post extended sincere appreciation to all who have supported the publication throughout its more than 30 years of operation.